Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful Mother's Day card with loose watercolor roses, a ribbon, and a little bit of calligraphy. Here I have a piece of Canson watercolor paper that I cut into a 7 by 10 inch piece and then I folded it in half for a 5 by 7 card. I'm going to trace a heart onto the front center of it. You can sketch a heart out by hand or use a template. I'm going to lightly erase any pencil lines that are too dark. And now we're going to tape off a portion of this heart shape with washi tape. So I'm just putting a strip of tape across the middle of the heart. You'll need some watercolor paints. I'm using these two watercolors squeezed out into my plastic palette and I'm going to be using pink, purple, and green colors. You'll also need a small round paintbrush. This is a Princeton Heritage brush and it's a size four. Starting with a light pink color, I'm gonna start painting loose watercolor roses inside this heart shape. Painting loose roses is kind of just painting a bunch of little curls or C shapes around each other, and the most important thing is to leave enough white space in between them. I start in the center with small, tight curls, and then as I work outward, I'll make slightly thicker strokes to make it look like the petals get bigger. And I'm going to scatter some of these light pink roses all around the heart shape, and then I'll start filling in with some other colors. You can paint right up to and over the washi tape and it'll keep the paper protected underneath. Now that I've painted some of these kind of evenly spaced around the heart, I'm going to move on to painting some light purple roses. So using a light violet color, I'm going to paint more roses in the same way, scattered evenly around the heart. I've now switched to a dark pink color. This is the same pink color I used before, just a darker concentration. And I'm going to finish filling in with these dark pink roses. Once you've mostly filled in the heart shape with roses, switch to a green color and paint some little leaves in any of the extra gaps or white spaces. These are just simple little leaves I'm painting. They don't have to be perfect at all. They're so little. Just scatter them evenly around the roses and add some green to complement the pink and purple colors. Once this is dry, you can peel up the washi tape. And now we have this strip of white paper across the middle of the heart that we can turn into a ribbon. I'm going to use a gold pen. This is a Uniball Sino broad tip gel pen. 
and I'm going to trace the straight line left behind by the washi tape to outline the ribbon. Once that's done, you can close off the ends by tracing over that light pencil line to finish off the heart shape. To make this really look like a ribbon, we need to add ribbon ends coming out either side. So draw a short line coming out from about midway down the ribbon. And the distance from the top of the ribbon to that line you drew determines how far down from the bottom of the ribbon you should draw the next line, if that makes sense. You can watch how I'm doing it here, drawing that second straight line coming out and making it the same length as the other one. And to finish off the ribbon end, just draw a V shape. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And it's not absolutely perfect, but that's okay. I'm going to add a little bit of shading now, still with the gold pen. Coming from the end of the ribbon, I'm just going to draw some short, light lines. And I'll do the same thing here where the ribbon wraps around the heart. Now we just need to put something inside of the ribbon. So I'm going to write mom. You can of course write whatever you want. I'm going to do mine in calligraphy, so I'm going to use a brush pen. This is a Tombow Fudeno Suke soft nib brush pen. Starting with a little swirled entry stroke and then a down stroke. Two overturn strokes for the M and I like making the second stroke for the M a little bit shorter. Then the O, and because the watercolor paper is a little bit rough, I have to touch up the lines. And then another M in the same way. If you don't do calligraphy, you could use stamps or stickers or just your own handwriting for this part. The last thing before this card is finished is to take an eraser and erase any leftover pencil lines. And the card is finished. Fold it in half, and there you have a lovely handmade card for mom. Here on the right is another one that I painted earlier. You can see that it's a little bit looser and it has more green in it. You can switch up the kind of flowers you paint, use different colors. So yeah, have fun making cards.